కాన్సల్ ఏంది So good afternoon dear friends i'm happy that you are all back i can see now good number of participants have joined back and today afternoon session i should tell you that you are the most privileged participants here to listen to one of the very luminary here there is a delay with it i'm, I'm hearing i'm hearing again the same thing yeah sorry there was a small technical issue uh, so today we have with us uh, a very important luminary uh, dr mansoor ali from kerala uh, this personality doesn't require any introduction because all of you every pg aspirant must be knowing this name if you don't know his name at least you must have gone through his website i am very sure everybody present here surely must have visited that uh, website okay so today i take the small privilege here to introduce sir to all of you sir is actually his name is dr mansoor ali and he is a professor department of rebatory from government homeopathic medical college calicut uh, he is a member of board of studies homeopathy ug as well as pg from kuhas university and sir is also member of board of studies from homeopathy for ug in calicut also calicut university sir is also pg guide for kerala kuhas university he is uh, in the editorial committee of a health magazine that is called health sciences it's a peer reviewed journal of kuhas university very rarely we have homeopathic uh, journals with peer reviewed and uh, sir is the ceo of the home homeo book okay this is what you must have visited very frequently and uh, every post graduate student when we ask about any pg entrance any references which you have they only tell about sir we got this information from homeo book and i think today we got uh, i can say more than 10 percentage of participants we we got exclusively from the advertisement what is uh, sir has done through the homeo book also uh, and sir also has one more website it is similima.com when we were students that was the only resource for us now you are all privileged you have one more that is homeo book the website is loved and viewed by all the homeopaths from east to west and north to south sir i should also introduce in this way that sir was the first rank holder in the kerala psc exam long back that is for the post of lecture and he was a approved practitioner for the uae he has taken so much from the homeopathy and at the same time he has also given so much to homeopathy always i see sir's post saying that this i have received from homeopathy that i have received from homeopathy but sir we should tell you that you have given more than what you have taken you have given enormously to the system uh, a pan india personality and also a friend of every homeopath across india if i have to introduce sir at its full length i think i will take two hours session completely so with this few words of uh, introduction i present to you dr mansoor ali a very well known person to all of us sir we are eagerly waiting to listen to your address not only me but many participants are very happy and eager to listen to you sir over to you sir thank you so much thank you thank you for the nice words so <clears throat> today we'll discuss uh, something interesting so, uh, i think the slides are visible i think the slides are visible is it okay yes sir it's visible sir okay okay so very good afternoon to all 
and at the outset i would like to thank the management the principal uh, the uh, respected teachers and the students of uh, father mullar homeopathic medical college and today afternoon we will discuss something interesting and something useful for our postgraduate medical entrance examination so something about the last moment revision and this is a beautiful uh, father mullar homeopathic medical college one of the pioneer institute in india by the father of uh, rapatari dr father agastya mullar so today we'll discuss something uh, that means the how to score higher in aapgt 2020 so in the next one and a half hour listen to me very carefully so this is about our syllabus and how much i study that's on the right side and how much i remember the third photograph and the fourth one how much i write in examination and finally how much i score so this is a scenario regarding the various competitive examinations and the neat pg 2020 exam date is announced and still most of the internet will like this but don't worry <clears throat> we will definitely help you and this program designed by the father mullar homeopathy medical college that will definitely help you to achieve a higher score don't worry about that definitely will be guided now something about the uh, postgraduate uh, seats and colleges and the postgraduate homeopathy colleges for 2020 admission is around 51 that may change according to the permission from the central council of homeopathy and remember the total seats is uh, nearly 1200 only remember the total seats for the post graduation across india is nearly 1200 the ndr nation is competing for this 1200 seats so this is about the state wise uh, pg seats in colleges and total number as i said earlier nearly 1200 and in andhra pradesh that's about the 42 bihar 52 delhi 4 gujarat 54 karnataka 129 seats and in kerala 36 madhya pradesh 113 maharashtra the largest number of post graduates is that is in maharashtra and all the colleges are the private sector 378 seats are there like the orissa 18 punjab 18 rajasthan 59 tamil nadu 49 45 telangana 30 uttar pradesh 114 and west bengal 57 the number may change according to the permission from the central council of homeopathy and total seats in government homeopathy medical college that is around 300 only remember out of this 1200 around 300 seats that is available in the government homeopathy medical colleges and the andhra pradesh that's about the 42 and the highest that is in the madhya pradesh 55 55 seats are there so in west bengal also 57 seats are there so the number of pg seats in the government sector that is less than 300 only now what about the stipend we are also interested about the stipend and remember in government colleges only you will get stipend and the highest stipend that is in the delhi under the nehru homeopathic medical college under the delhi government so in the first year you will get about 86413 and in the second year you will get you are entitled to get more than 1 lakh rupees 1 lakh 1125 rupees from second year onwards you will get so more than the salary of teachers in many of the homeopathic medical colleges so the highest stipend for the post graduate homeopathy students that is in the delhi so that is why the uh, top ranking students usually opting the delhi so more than 1 lakh rupees you will get per month and what about the national institute of homeopathy and you will get 51072 rupees per year the national institute of homeopathy and similarly the nair one uh, institute research institute in kerala under the central council of research in homeopathy at kottayam here also you will get around uh, the same salary same stipend 51072 in kerala the stipend is around uh, 30000 30000 per month so the highest salary that is in the delhi under the delhi university and the minimum mark and this is calculated as a percentile not as a percentage for the general candidates it is around 50 and scst 40 sc and socially and economically backward community that's around 
and for the service candidates, that means for the teachers and medical officers in the government service, 40 is necessary. That is a minimum mark percentage. This also may change according to the decision by the uh, Ministry of Irish. But remember, in the 2018 All India Postgraduate Entrance Examination for Homeopathy, the total candidates appear that is around 6,755. And those who got a 50 percentage mark, that is only 491 candidates. So you can, uh, I mean, this uh, remember the standard of this examination. Total candidates appeared that is around 6,755, but only 491 candidates got 50 percentage mark. So this is not an easy task to win. In 2019, that's been the last year, 7,376 candidates appeared for the examination. But remember, only 297 candidates got 50 percentage mark. Only 297 candidates. So this is about the standard of our examination. And similarly for the Irish net examination, Remember the standard of homeopathy, I mean the styles, I mean the colleges or the students, only four candidates qualified with 55 percentage mark in Ayush Nash for PhD fellowship and senior research fellowship. But, but remember 92 candidates qualified in Ayurveda and even five candidates qualified even from Siddha. So comparing to other systems in the Ayush, we are lacking behind. Only four candidates qualified 55 percentage mark. That is the pass mark for the net examination for the PhD and the research officer, officer examination. But uh, don't worry, we will definitely help you how to score the higher mark in the forthcoming IAPG entrance examination. The program uh, that's uh, designed by the Father Muller Homeopathy Medical College, that's a perfect way on how to score the higher in the postgraduate entrance examination, covering all the 12 subjects of BHMS in the capsule form. So my request to empty your cup because a full cup cannot accept anything more. While attending for a class, for the competitive examination, or a seminar, whatever it may be, never think that I know everything. So a person who believes that he had learned a lot cannot learn anything else and will stagnate quickly and not move to higher levels. And remember, even the teachers have teachers. Always bear in mind for preparing for a competitive examination. I know only a few things, but need to study more. That's why I'm attending this type of uh, crash courses. So empty your cup. That's the most, uh, that's the first advice I would like to give you. And now we have only limited time. So the smart work is more important than the hard work. Today we'll discuss about the smart work that rather than the hard work. So see the images. On the left side, that's a smart work. And on the right side, that's a hard work. So we are going to discuss about the smart work. And there is no elevator to, elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. But we will help you, don't worry. Now, what is the biggest challenge faced in an online examination? The biggest challenge faced by our students in an online examination, that is a reading speech. Because we are very familiar with the offline examination of three hours duration from the first BHMS to final BHMS. Three hours duration of examination will get enough time to think and enough time to write. But the scenario is entirely different in the case of uh, national level online competitive examination. Because the first point, the reading uh, speed in a computer screen is 10 percentage slower than that on a paper. We can't read so fast as we are reading in a paper. And the difference is more if you are not familiar with the online reading. So you can expect some technical problems like delay in loading pages and images. So in that case, skip to the next question. And currently we have one facility that means you can navigate forward and backwards through the question. That means if you are answered, uh, already answered 10, you can go to the 15, then again come back to the ninth question. That is possible, but in allopathy, the modern system of medicine, for the postgraduate entrance examination, they are not permitting the navigation forward and backwards. And nowadays, many, many among you are so familiar with this uh, online trading because of the uh, utility of, I mean, the usage of the social media. So always, always remember the reading speed is comparatively lower than that on a paper. Now, how to overcome it? Practice 
as many online mock tests as possible. The Father Muller Hamipati Medical College designed a lot of uh, mock tests in between the main classes. So practice as many online mock tests as possible. Enroll for an online test series. I will give you some, uh, some URL for that test series. Follow websites and questionnaires and download mobile apps. Today we'll discuss about some, some mobile apps also that you can practice online. There is no other way, practice as much as possible. And about the pattern of question, that means the 60 percentage answered by an average student. That's the pattern in the majority of the examination. And 30 percentage answered by above average student and 10 percentage that is very difficult to answer. But from our experience of the last two years only, uh, four by time, one by fourth of the students scored the 50 percentage mark. So never underestimate a national level examination. Now about the pattern of questions. And this type of number of divisions are there in many of the postgraduate and entrance examinations of the previous years. Like this a number of questions from medicine 10, pediatrics 5, respiratory 2, like that. But remember, there is no such division for the AAPGET. They can ask questions from every, every subject of, and not in proportionate to the size of the subject. Sometimes more questions you can expect from anatomy, sometimes you can expect more from the bacteria medica, sometimes from the repertory, whatever it may be, because there is no division of questions among the 12 subjects. So question from all the 12 subjects of VHMS syllabus that may that usually ask. A negative mark is one mark, total question that is 100 and total 400 mark. And total time that is 90 minutes. So 90 minutes for answering 100 questions. So time to answer a question that is less than one minute. Remember, time to answer a question that is only less than one minute. Remember that. So that's the scenario in an online examination compared to an offline, offline examination of three or three hours duration in our university. So better to avoid heavy food just before the examination and also during the preparation time because your brain will concentrate on the digestion, not on your question paper. So never take a chicken biryani or the chicken 65 and porota just before the examination because your brain will concentrate on the digestion, not on your question paper. And take more vegetables and fresh water during the preparation period and avoid smoking, excess of tea and all type of stimulants like the Pepsi, Coke, tea, coffee, whatever it may be, it is better to avoid because they will initially boost, but later that will decrease your energy. And the last point is very, very important. The sleep deprivation will result in decreased mental alertness. Go to sleep early, the day before the examination. Never try to reverse the entire topic, all the 12 subjects or the notes you prepared. Never try to reverse the entire topic because the sleep deprivation that will that will result in the decreased okay. mental alertness. So agility, mental, mental agility, that will be decreased if you are not slept in the last night. So when you try to cover the whole syllabus in one night, this, this may happen. So never try for this. The day, the night before the examination, never try for this. But we will give you some good methods that, so that you can score very higher. Hmm? That you will discuss one by one and medical students the night before the exam day. And this is usually happening because we have to, we have to go through the, all the 12 subjects of BHMS syllabus that we taught uh, during the five and a half year, four and a half years, of course. But everything, they will ask so many questions from different, uh, different all the 12 subjects for the competitive examination. But don't worry. So always remember the revision is important. This type of competitive examinations are nothing but uh, recall of memory. How many times if you are revising the entire 12 subjects, you will get the higher score. So nothing but the memory. The revision is important in this type of competitive examination. Always remember, this type of competitive examinations are nothing but recall of memory. So how many times you are re re revising the topic, the entire topic from the nook and corner, that, depend upon, that depends about your score. And how to read, the preparing or the reading for the competitive examination is entirely different from reading for a university examination. I will give you some beautiful examples. How to read for the competitive examination. This is entirely different from reading for a university examination. 
Now these are all from the previous question papers. So always take care, very care, take very, I mean, care during, especially the reading the keynotes. Which of the following symptoms are common to Kali bike, Epis, and Black Canina? It's a question from the previous PG entrance examination. The answers are the shifting pain, thirstlessness with the dry tongue, offensiveness with the forgetfulness, delayed, painful scanty menses with increased sexual desire and BP. So which may be the correct answer in this case? So always remember, make, uh, make a special attempt to collect the remedies known for a particular symptom. So this is from the keynote. See on the Kali Bay Chromicum, the remedy. Pain in small spots can be uh, small spots can be covered with the point of finger. Shift rap rapidly from one part to another. Kali self, lacaninum and pulsar are given. Appear and disappear suddenly. Belladonna, Ignatia and Magnesia phosphoric. So while, re while reading the keynote, take care of the medicines within the bracket. That's very, very important. The medicines listed within the bracket. Usually we'll get the question paper and the question from uh, Alan's keynote is like this. So this is about the piece that is not given in the bracket for the shifting pain under the Kali Bikramika. Now read this one. Which of the following is not correct in respect to bad effect of tobacco? This is one of one question from the previous question paper. Phosphorus, tobacco, heart, ignitia, hiccup, nexomica, occipital headache and vertigo, sepia, right-sided facial neuralgia. So which may be the correct answer in this case? Yes. E. You can use the chat box also. C. E. 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 Okay, we will see it. So this is question is actually from the Tabacum, Allen's keynote, Tabacum, relationship section, antidotes for the abuse of tobacco, Epicac for the excessive nausea and vomiting, arsenical for the bad effects of tobacco, Nexomica for the gastric symptoms, next morning after smoking. So in this case, in Nexomica, occipital headache and vertigo is the listed. But actually, Nexomica for the gastric symptoms, and next morning after smoking. So the relationship section, the modalities, etc. are some of the major areas in Allen's keynote where you can expect more questions. Take care of the relationship section and also the medicines within the bracket. Now, which one of the following is correct order of remedies that matches with the amylates by coffee, aggravates by coffee and desire for coffee? These are, the, these are some, of, some type of usual questions. In a national level competitive examination. Ameliorates by coffee, aggravates by coffee, and desire for coffee. The correct answer in this case is C. Ignatia, Chamomilla, and Angustra. See another question. Consider the following symptoms. Stool partially expelled and receives. Second one, much urging but inability to expel. Third one, stool lies in the rectum without urging until there is a large accumulation. And the fourth one, stool hard as a stone. Which of the above form the indicator for sanicula? 2 and 3, 1 and 3, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 1 and only. So always remember this type of questions, usually from the Allen's keynote, require more than superficial knowledge of the symptoms. So this is a difference between a university examination and a competitive level examination. We need a deep knowledge about the symptoms. So in this case, the correct answer is second one, one and three. That means stool partially expelled and recedes. And three, stool lies in the rectum without urging until there is a large accumulation. So remember the reading for a competitive examination is entirely different from reading for a university level examination. Now I will give some uh, some clues towards how to memorize. Usually we may forget the 75 percentage of the topic within the first 48 hours after reading a topic. Suppose if you are reading about the aconite from the material medica or from the Allen's keynote. After 48, 48 hours you may have only 25, 25 percentage in your brain. So never try to cover the 
topic from A to Z. Suppose if you are reading the Allen's keynote or the Materia Medica from Abyss Canadian, Canadensis to Zinga Metallicum, first Abyss Canadensis followed by the Abyss Niagara, like that, you covered the topic up to Zinga Metallicum. So at the end, there is no Abyss Canadensis, nothing about the Zinga Metallicum. So never try to cover the topic like that. If you are reading Aconite, read Aconite tomorrow and read Aconite the day after tomorrow also then you can remember more than 75% of the topic. Otherwise, you may be able to remember only 25%. So try to read the same topic two to three times within two to three days. If you are reading the infection, read the infection for three days. Never try to come cover the topic from infection to central nervous system. At the end, there is no nothing about the infection and nothing about the central nervous system. So try to read the same topic, same medicine. For example, from the repertory, read something about the cancer of rubrics of the chapter of mind for three days. Then you can able to remember more than 75% of the topic. Okay. So this is one of the best methods. And this is about our forgetting curve. At the end of the two to three, four, four days, you may forget more than 80%. Okay. So the planning, that is very, very important for a competitive examination like the AAPGET. Plan your studies months prior to the examination and make notes in separate paper in abbreviated form. You must have your own note for the all the 12 subjects of BHMS. You must have your own notes for the all the 12 subjects. But remember, in an abbreviation form only, not the entire matter, but in an abbreviation form. And use different colored pencil or pen for marking tricky and confusing questions in your textbook or the MCQ textbook also for marking the tricky and confusing questions. And group discussion, that is also a very good thing to remember many, remember many points, discuss the points with your friends so that you can remember them very well because that will stimulate and quicken your memory. That will stimulate and quicken your memory. So group discussion, that is one of the best thing to remember major points and the final revision means the last three days not on the night before the examination final revision means last three days that means the matter you couldn't recollect easily forgettable information like the for some number or the biochemical values read the notes you prepared last three days three days means you have your your own notes for the, all the 12 subjects in an abbreviated, abbreviated form so you have to read this note on the last three days. And also we have a lot of last moment revision notes and question papers from available in the Homeo book talk. So final revision means last three days, not the day, not on the night before the examination. And always remember the highway mindset is better. For preparing for a competitive examination like this, that may uh, definitely helps you in a diverse way. Suppose if you are driving on the highway, our headlight is focused far ahead. But if you are driving in a near busy street or in the city, your vision that is focused on the vehicle just in front of you. But always remember this type of crash courses that will definitely help not only for the AAPGET, but also for the UPSC examination and various state PSC examination. NRHM, NHM examination, the research officer examination, and uh, also for to improving the, your private practice that we will discuss later. So highway mindset is always better if you are attending a crash course like this. So a brain may forget, but a paper does not. So use different colored pencils or pen for marking tricky and confusing questions. So your uh, textbook should be like this. Usually, for those who are scoring the higher, their textbook will look like this. See this one. Everything marked with, by using the different colored pencils so that they can remember anything, everything. So do a little every day. That's the criteria for the competitive examination because it's a continuous process, one that, one, that must be done little by little and on a regular basis, on a regular basis. And when the whole nation is competing with you, preparation is everything. So in IAPGT, the whole nation is competing for 1,200 postgraduate seats. 
more than 8000 or nearly 9000 sorry 10000 people are kind of candidates are appearing for this examination and only 1200 selected for the pg so when the whole nation is competing preparation is everything now usually we are sleeping for the 8 hours and the leisure for 8 hours and work for 8 hours so take 2 hours from each you will get more than 6 hours per day for preparation so at least three revision is required before the AAPGET examination. At least three revision. So prepare a timetable, your own timetable by dividing the time. Anatomy two hours, physiology two hours, or the pharmacy one hour like that. You can you must have your own timetable. At least six hours of preparation a day is essential for the time being. So you will get six hours by taking two hours from sleep, two hours from leisure, and two hours from work. You will get more than six hours. So we have enough time and the time management, the model exam or self-assessment is an important part of the preparation. And don't try to read the entire questions. So never try to read the entire questions that we are usually doing in our university examination because you will get less than one minute for answering a question. Some questions are based on paragraphs that you can that, that you need to have spend more time, two minutes or three minutes like that. But some question you can answer within one minute or within uh, within minute, within seconds. So don't try to read the entire question papers because you will get less than one minute for answering a question. So practice as many mock tests as possible near the examination. The time management that is very very important. Even though you have good knowledge in the, all the twelve subjects of your PHMS, but if you are not practicing the mock test, you may fail. So you must have more than ninety correct answer. Then uh, see at BGC. That that's an assured thing. And the time spent on each subject, that's also a concern about many students. But everything depends upon how strong or weak you are in a particular subject. How strong or weak you are in a particular subject. So you have to spend less time on subject from which less questions are asked. And it is very important not to get stuck at a particular subject for a too long time. Usually the students will read the material medica for a long time neglecting the non-clinical subjects like the pathology, microbiology, forensic medicine, etc. But you, and you remember, never neglect non-clinical subjects like the anatomy, physiology, forensic medicine, biochemistry, etc. Because the non-clinical subjects decide the rank. Non-clinical subjects decide the rank. Because majority of the people may answer this material medical repertory or on practice of medicine. But but the practitioners or those who already completed the course years back, they have no time to read the anatomy, physiology, microbiology, forensic medicine, etc. etc. So, those who are scoring the higher mark in non clinical subjects, they will get the higher rank. So, never neglect non clinical subjects. Material medical report, you are going practice of medicine. More or less, majority of the candidates are able to answer correctly. But those who uh, answer for the non-clinical subjects, they will definitely get the higher score in an IAPGT examination. So the selective study is not at all suitable for a competitive examination. See, your case is complicated. Why doctor, what happened? You got a disease from the chapter which I left as optional during my studies. So remember the selective studies, not at all a good thing for a national level postgraduate entrance examination. So this is how the multiple choice questions look like. If you are not preparing effectively, multiple choice questions look like this. See this one. Which one is correct in this case? First, second, three or four. The MCQs may look like this. The third one is right, this lady. Hmm? So now we'll discuss something about the multiple choice questions. MCQ mass may be repeated in many examinations in the same or different format. So, if you are revising the previous question papers, you will get nearly 35 percentage of the questions. So, the revising the previous question papers and the revising the MCQ textbooks or the guides, that's an unavoidable thing. You will get, you may get nearly 35 percentage of the question from the previous MCQ textbooks or from the previous question papers. But before reading these uh, MCQs, you have to read the concerned chapter first. Suppose if you are reading about the MCQs based on the infection, you have to read the infection chapter first from the practice of medicine, from the Krishnadas or from the Davidson or whatever, whatever book you are following. Read the infection first, then only read the MCQs based on the infection. 
and you have to record your reasoning before checking the answers. There is a habit among the majority of the students. First, checking the first, they will check the answer, then only reading the entire questions. That should not be. Record your reasoning before checking the answers. Then you will, you will get to, you will you will develop the ability to answer the questions. So read the concern chapter first, then record your reasoning before checking the answers of the MCQ. So revise all the question papers and MCQs, but MCQs will help to a certain extent only. So as I said earlier, you can able to answer nearly 30 to 35 percentage of the questions if you are revising the old MCQs. But to select, you have to select the book, book which provides genuine materials picked up from the standard textbook. I will give you two or three uh, good books that is definitely useful and uh, helpful in the preparation of the IAPGET to score a higher mark. So there are some selective books are there in addition to the standard textbook. So always remember the basic concept you will get only by reading the textbook. Without reading the textbook, we will never get the basic concept. Basic concept we will never get from the MCQ textbook because the tough or tricky questions may not be tricky if you, are, if you know the concept. So that is why I'm always advising read the concerned chapter from the standard textbook of your BHM syllabus. Then only read the MCQs. Because without the basic concept, it is not possible to answer tricky and confusing questions. So must read the standard textbook. That's an unavoidable thing to score a higher mark. I will give one example. <clears throat> Consider the following statement. Statement one, metaphorinum is a gonorrheal preparation. Statement two, we should begin the treatment of gonorrhea with the metaphorinum. Which of the following is correct in respect of above statement? So this type of questions that may require some more time to answer. Answer here, both statement one and statement two are true. And the statement two is the correct explanation of the statement one. This is from the previous question paper. Both statement one and statement two are true. But statement two is not the correct explanation of statement one. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. And the fourth one, statement one is false, but this statement two is true. So the correct answer in this case is C. So a superficial knowledge about the Madorinum will not help to answer for these questions. We must have the basic concept about the Madorinum, otherwise it is very difficult to answer. So the correct answer in this case is C. A female patient developed gangrene in her fingers during winter season. She is instructed to dip her hands in cold water kept in a, drum, a tumbler. In doing so, she developed cyanosis in her hands. So the probable diagnosis, Raynaud's disease, Burgess disease, frostbite and cyanotic heart disease. The correct answer is that's the Raynaud's disease, Raynaud's disease. So the answers are more or less similar in this case. Now, Equifolia belongs to plant source. The description details of this, that is, uh, say, synonym is Bale, family composite. It is distributed in India. Part used for its preparation is the whole plant. So this is basically from the boric. Which of the above is correct in this case? A, B, C, and D. The correct answer is B. One and three only. Synonym is Bale. And it is distributed in India. So it is not come under the family of composite, and the part used for preparation is the whole plant. That is also a wrong answer. The medicine found under the rubric benevolence in cancer puttery. This type of question you can usually find in majority of the competitive examination. If there is only one three mark remedy, and if there is only one remedy, then you can expect a question from single remedy rubric or three mark remedy, one single, one, only one three mark remedy out of many remedies. You can expect the questions from this repertory. The medicine found under the rubric benevolence in cancer repertory. The medicine is? Yes, very good. Coffee cruda is a remedy in this case. Coffee cruda is a remedy for the benevolence. Then one question from the organon of medicine. The cure of an old disorder that has been deprived of eruptions, whether it may be latent or in patient or already broken out into chronic disease, can never be accomplished with the sulfur alone. This was written by Dr. Hanuman. This is from the previous question paper. Whether it is in the organon of medicine, Metidia Medica Cura, the chronic disease, less writing. The correct answer is chronic disease. 
So a superficial knowledge about the subject will not help in scoring a higher mark. But don't worry, I will give you some good books and also some mobile applications so that you can practice with the limited number of time, limited time itself. So don't worry about uh, by seeing this type of questions. But never underestimate a national level PG entrance examination. So the correct answer in this case is the chronic disease. In the preface to the fifth edition of Organon, Dr. Samuel Hanneman mentioned homeopathy avoids everything in the slightest degree of enfeebling, which refers to homeopathy avoids everything in the slightest degree of enfeebling, which refers to external means of treatment, idiosyncrasy, homeopathic aggravation, genus epidemics. So if you are not reading the textbook, it is very difficult to answer this type of questions. By simply going through the MCQ textbooks, it is not possible to answer. Every nook and corner of the textbook, that should be, you should be thorough with that. So the answer in this case, yes, external means of treatment. That is the answer for this condition. External means of treatment. Very good. Now consider the following in respect of LM botanicis. Aggravation is minimum or absent, can be repeated more frequently. Effects of the medicine are ascertained earlier. The easiest, this is the easiest method of preparation. Which of the above statements are correct? Please try for this. Which of the above statements are correct? So in this case, the answer is A, yeah, one and two only. Aggravation is minimum or absent, can be repeated more frequently. And the wrong answers are, answers are effects of medicine are assigned earlier and the easiest method of preparation. This is not an easiest method of preparation. So, what they teach in the classroom, what they ask in the exam, ask in the exam that's entirely different. So, it is not possible to cover the nook and corner of the BHMR syllabus. So, this is about why, what they teach in the classroom, but what they ask in the exam. I think you are uh, now you have got an idea about the question, the pattern of questions or the the standard of question that we are that usually asking for the national level homeopathy entrance examination. So another interesting question from the practice of medicine. So remember, a superficial knowledge about the practice of medicine is not sufficient to answer this type of questions. A 65-year-old woman complains of 20-pound weight loss over a few months. She is of an average build and has been a not on diet. She states that she has just not been very hungry and read each and every word, uh, every line carefully. Physical examination is unrevealing. Complete blood count is normal as urine analysis, multifaceted chemical screen, thyroid stimulating hormones, chest x-ray and this tool for blood. Everything is normal. But weight loss, 20 pound weight loss over a few months. The next most appropriate study would be whether it is an abdominal CT, serum protein electrophoresis, colonoscopy, blood culture, short ACTH test. So some uh, basic idea about the, the reason for the weight loss that should be there. Otherwise it is very difficult to, uh, I mean, the difficult to answer. So the concept that we will get only from the textbook. So which may be the correct answer in this case, the correct answer for this condition. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Let us see. Okay. Good. So we can find out the answer. It is very easy. An involuntary basically weight loss is almost always due to some serious condition. An involuntary weight loss is almost always due to some serious condition. The, so the three mechanisms of weight loss are increased energy expenditure. That is relatively higher. Loss of energy in stool or urine and decreased food intake. These are all the three reasons for a weight loss. In young person, the most likely cause of weight loss are diabetes, hyperthyroidism, anorexia nervosa and infections. So we must know the causes in a young person. In older person, cancer is the most likely cause of weight loss with the psychiatric illness, including Alzheimer's disease and depression being the second most important cause. So we must know the reason for the weight loss. 
the basic concept that is only we will get by reading the textbook. So in the current case, the normal CBC and negative stool for occult blood loss suggests that the upper and lower GAT probably would not be useful because this CBC is normal, no negative stool for occult blood. So endoscopy is not required. Since this patient has normal electrolytes, addition disease is also less likely, making the short ACTH test is an inappropriate one in this case because normal electrolyte is there. Since the patient has no fever, blood culture or bone marrow biopsy cultures are not likely to be revealed. So the patient has no fever, so blood culture that is not useful. Or the bone marrow biopsy that is also not useful. And the serum protein electro electrophoresis would be appropriate in the setting of anemia or abnormal protein excretion of urine analysis. So in this case, there is no anemia setting of abnormal protein excretion. So, so serum elect uh, protein electrophoresis is not useful. An abdominal CT which will provide a reasonable initial screen for pancreatic or gynecologic malignancies. Remember, the malignancies are the one of the major reason in old people. Is probably the best initial test in this case of occult weight loss in an older individual. So the correct answer is A. Yeah. So this is a method of uh, ruling out answers one by one. It's possible only if we, if we have some idea or the basic concept about the particular topic or subject. So, must read the standard textbook, not advisable to omit any chapter or area. Always remember, no selective study because a single wrong answer that results in the loss of a PG seat. One, no negative mark for the unattended questions. But remember, for the correct answer, uh, the mark is 4. For the wrong answer, the mark is 1 only, minus. But with the, by comparing with your uh, with your uh, your nearest candidate, you may lose five mark. If you lose one, if, if, you're, if you're, one answer is wrong, you may lose five mark. That means correct answer for the four and also one minus mark. So your neighboring candidate may have five more mark than you. So a single wrong answer that may result in the loss of PTC. So it is not at all advisable to omit any chapter or area. Every nook and corner of the textbook. So you can guess if you can narrow down the answers to two. Out of four, if you are able to narrow down the answers to two, you can guess. Otherwise, it is better to avoid guessing because of the, uh, the, I mean, the negative, I mean, the uh, negative mark. Okay, so it is better to avoid guessing if you know, don't know the answers out of these two. So me answering while the questions in the examination should not be like this. Should not guess like this. So this is a pattern in the majority of the medical students to an exam, but if you are refused to leave the bank, if you don't know the answer, but this is not at all possible in the case of a national level online examination. So solving the MCQS examination will be like this, A, B, C, D, E, looking more or less similar. So you can guess if you can narrow down the answers to two. For example, in ankylosing spondylitis, which HLA, HLA is positive? That means usually one correct answer and three distractors. That means distractors means that must attract the attention of the candidate. That's the usual direction we are, uh, usually uh, for the teachers. The authorities like the PS, UPS, they are, they are giving to the teachers. One correct answer and three distractors. That means that three distractors must attract the candidate. So in angulation spondylosis, which HLA is positive? 15, 17, 20, or 27? HLA, B27, yes, you are right. HLA, 27. So more or less similar, 17, 20, 27, 15, confusing answers. ESR is typically rising to over 100 mm in the first hour in. So one correct answer and three distractors. ESR is rising in all these conditions. Remember, in acute appendicitis, multiple myeloma, rheumatic fever, tuberculosis. In all these conditions, we can expect rising ESR. But rising in the first hour, 100 mm per first hour. So one correct answer and three distractors. That's a method of, um, I mean, the question, method of questions in MCQs. So in this case, the correct answer is, which one is the correct answer in this case? Multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is the correct answer. And you can guess if the answer is like this. A granuloma is a collection of 
lymphocyte neutrophils plasma cells epithelioid cells with the color of lymphocyte and plasma cells that means the with the different length answers with the different length then that the d must be the answer these are not hard and fast rule but usually the questions of different length the, the longest one may be the correct answer so in this case the answer is in d and the third point regarding the gussing the, that means the dressing dressing for this uh, answers right iliac fossa pain with rebound tenderness is classically seen in a duodenal ulcer there is no dressing liver abscess chronic pancreatitis there is no dressing but acutely inflamed appendix that means a dressing to the answer so that may be the correct answer in this case if you don't know the answer these are some criteria to find out the correct answer so the first one only one answer correct three distractors and the second one different length probably the length the lengthiest one is the correct answer and if some type of dressings are there like the acutely inflamed appendix then the correct answer is uh, the d the question with this some dressing so this is another this is another, there are some criteria for guessing if you don't know the correct answer now and circle and this is some not so easy and circle a if 1 and 2 1 2 and 3 are correct b if 1 and 3 are correct this type of questions are usually found in national level examination that may require more time so you have to answer the simple questions fastly without making any mistake but this type of question that may require more time so now i will give you some books and remember the standard textbook all the of the our bhm syllabus that is sufficient but in addition to the standard textbook this type of books that will definitely help you in preparing for a competitive examination within the short span of time so one book that is uh, it is usually called as sarp s a r p in the sarp series you will get lot of books this is a this is a book that is used by the modern medicine people for their competitive examination like the pg entrance psc and upsc and also for the international level examinations also this is a simple book and prepared in a particular way that so that everybody can remember the points it's a beautiful presentation that is available in this book so in sarp series you will get a lot of books sarp series on anatomy sarp series on physiology sarp series on uh, radiology etc etc so at least purchase these two book first one self study guide postgraduate medical test medicine medicine that is one book and the second one sarp s a r p skin anesthesia radiology and psychiatry covering 1500 questions with explanation and uh, some 150 short answer type questions so at least purchase this two book from the out of sarp series this is not a big book but small book that is will definitely help you in the last moment revision of any type of competitive examination related to the medicine or the medicine subjects like the anatomy physiology pediatrics radiology etc etc so this is one of the best book that is an unavoidable thing for the last moment revision and the second book review of postgraduate medical entrance three volumes are there now it is about the 14th edition that is available in the market so that's add the value to that book now the 14th edition that is available in the market marketed by the pulse publication and the author that is arvind arora amit tripathi and ashish gupta this is one of the widely used postgraduate medical entrance test books in india that covering the subjects from anatomy to the pediatrics three volumes are available this also everything is available online so one of very very useful book for the pg entrance examination used by the modern medicine people and the allied health sense people across india and we will discuss some homeopathy books okay, these books are also available online and also in the nearest bookshop of your college sangar rp prescriber to allen skinot remember in majority of the competitive examination the major questions from the materia medica is from alenski note so we should be thorough with the each and every line of alenski note from the common name to relationship section and also the modalities so this book this is not an mcq book but a question answer type book sangar rp prescriber to alenski note covering the new can corner of the alenski note second one the patil jedi that is mcq in homeopathy is one of the pioneer and the oldest book that is available in the market patil jd mcq in homeopathy that covering the repertory bacteria medica organon and pharmacy niranjan mohan the another beautiful book by the mcq in homeopathy rajesh and m patni mcq in materia medica patil and tombre uh, gems of mcq series crack the entrance that is one of the beautiful book available in the market that is from the 
from the aluminis of the JHMC Caligate. And this contains a lot of notes also, in addition to the MCQs. They will definitely guide you how to prepare for the MCQs for the Materia Medica and which are the important points in each medicine like that. So that's a comprehensive book. Then exhaustive MCQs on Materia Medica by AK, Route 3. And some other books, that means these, are not, these three books are not only for the, you know, not only contain the MCQ, but study materials also from anatomy to repertory like that. A guide on homeopathy for competitive examination, success, by Nani Kumar Singh, Kaisen, as for UPSC, PSC, and MD, MD home preparation, that's by Dr. Gajendra Singh. An MCQ for UPSC and MD entrance in homeopathy, solved multiple choice questions. Remember, solved multiple choice questions and on all the 12 subjects of BHMS. Why this particular answer is correct? Why the answer C is correct? That type of explanation is given in the book by Dr. V.K. Chauhan, the principal of the college from the Delhi, former principal. So this is regarding the MCQs, looking more or less similar. But we have to find out the correct answer. So multiple choice questions maybe look like this. Hmm? Okay. This is from the look like like the famous singer from Kerala. Which one is uh, the original one? Which person is the original? One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. The middle one, the white, is the original man. Yes. So now we'll discuss something about some online support. There are a lot of websites and um, uh, mobile applications that is available free of course that you can practice and download the mock tests. So how many mock tests you are practicing that depend upon your success in this type of online examination. Even though you are prepared very well, but you are not thorough with this type of competitive examination, you may get to usually less mark. So fleshandbonds.com, this is a website by Davidson Group, fleshandbonds.com that contains the MCQs based on all the 27, I think there are 27 chapters are there in uh, Davidson, the MCQs based on each chapter of Davidson medicine that is available in the fleshandbonds.com. Another website is webhealthcenter.com, webhealthcenter.com. This contains question from the, from the gynecology, obstetric surgery and all other subjects. And homeybook.com, I think you are familiar with our website. And the fourth one, mcqonline.net. Thousands of beautiful MCQs from previous many examinations. That is available from anatomy to pediatrics. From the, that's in the website, mcqsonline.net. These are all free websites. No need to pay anything. And we'll discuss some uh, mobile applications. That's also available in the Android and iOS, free of course. No need to pay. And the one problem is that there are a lot of applications are there, mobile apps are available in Play Store, but only few that's beneficial. Others, there's others with a lot of advertisement and you have to pay something. But we'll discuss some free application that is useful also. And remember the logo, MCQ Free Instant Anatomy. That's on the blue background. That's the logo. Over 1,800 anatomy true and false questions split into eight categories. Like, like the upper limb, lower limb, thorax, head and neck, like that. Eight categories, as in the Cunningham's or the Chaurasia's. Hmm? So over 1,800 anatomy, multiple true and false questions. That's one of the beautiful app on anatomy. Then medical MCQ content, that contain thousands of questions regarding the basic medical subjects. So see the icon, a pencil and an OMR sheet. That's the icon of that particular application, medical MCQs. Thousand, I've been regarding the basic medical subjects like the anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology, etc. Then PG Munch. This is another useful mobile application for the postgraduate entrance preparation. PG Question Bank, healthcare through the news section also. This is for the doctors and medicos. And PG Preparation. This is one of the most widely used mobile application for the preparation by the modern medicine people from anatomy to pediatrics. So in just top medical PG and exam preparation and the competition platform, you can receive daily MCQs via email when you register. Everything is free. And the thing is that the explanation, videos and references. Explanation of each answer, why this answer is correct and why this answer is wrong. That's the peculiarity of this uh, PG prep. So with the videos and references, connect each question with the standard textbook. Suppose the question is from the infection of the Davidson, 
they, they will give you the question, uh, question I mean the uh, textbook page reference. So you can compare the performance score with the other PG prep users. That's the multiple users you can log in. So one of the best uh, uh, PG preparation mobile application free of course that is available in the internet. So please visit our website when you have time. You will get a lot of things related to preparation for from the first BHMS to BHD. Everything that we have arranged there. Now we'll discuss some more uh, websites. MCQonline.net. That is one of the wonderful websites that is available with the hundred thousands of questions free of cost. Then webhealthcenter.com, smartteach.com. That's another beautiful website for the PG entrance preparation. Netmedicos.com. Then mrcopats.com, pgblazer.com. These are some of the widely used uh, more websites with the mock test and study materials that is available free of cost online. So be thorough with this type of websites also. Then some free model question papers and an online mock exams are available in this website. First one that is exam.educationobserver.com. That is a URL. You are provided with 10 questions each time from my question bank. Each question carries one mark. Total time available for taking the test is 10 questions in 5 minutes. You have to answer for 10 questions in 5 minutes and you will be provided with the score sheet and correct answer at the end of the test. So this is also a free test. 10 questions you have to answer in 5 minutes. It's one of the beautiful website. So that's for the online mock examination. Then a lot of study materials are available in the doctorshangout.com. Doctorshangout.com, you will get a lot of study materials. And AAPGT online test visits are available by the different organizations. And some offline mobile applications are also there. We'll discuss only offline applications with no that, that doesn't need any internet connection. Once downloaded, it is free. So one offline mobile app by the Abhishek Gupta, medicosapp.org, and another one is Homeopathy Knowledge Test App. Just not not just note down the name only. Uh, you have to correctly, I mean, the spelling is also very important. No homeopathy, no like test, H O M E O P A T H Y test app. Because there are a lot of applications of uh, useless applications are also available in the Play Store. Then another one, homeopathy MCQ, H O M E O P A T H Y MCQs. Then PG, pre PG prep, NEET, AMS, PG, IG, per etc. Seventy thousand plus MCQs on all the subjects. That is also available in the Play Store. You can assess everything free, of course. These are some of the good uh, uh, homeopathy mobile application that is available in the Play Store and iOS. So this is the condition of a medical student. Even in the day of marriage, we need to study a lot. Maybe we can go for some examples. So studying medicine is like a true love. You suffer, fail, learn, fail again, fight. And grow but you never want to let go studying in this medicine like a true love we may suffer we may fail learn fail again fight and grow but you never want to let go we have no other option so leave the past baggage behind never depend upon your past achievements or failures suppose you might have scored a high rank in the university examination but never think that i, I, I can score in the aapgt also like this I may have failed in the last examination, but never, but never depend upon the past failures also. This time I will definitely be. Hmm? So without a high level of motivation, no one can go through the rigorous preparation of process. Because preparation is everything in a national level competitive examination like this. So never depend upon your past achievements or failures. Empty your cup. And this is the one scorer, scorer in the First rank holder in 2018. With these two kids, she studied and achieved the first rank in a national examination. She is from the Malapuram district of Kerala, studied in GHMC Calicut, now doing PG in Calicut College itself. So that is possible hmm? with these three two kids. So this is a scenario about the ladies. Lot of hurdles. It's not easy for a lady, for a girl or a lady. To achieve the higher score they are struggling a lot so this is a true scenario so attitude determines your altitude attitude that determines your altitude a small change in attitude may make a big difference a small change in attitude make a big difference so 
Usually nowadays I love, I love Facebook, but I hate to face my book. That should not be. Attitude that determines everything. Attitude is a small thing, but that may make a big difference. A small change in attitude make a big difference. If the whole world say no, I still hear the voice of my ability. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. And you cannot get into the fire without getting hot. The famous words of Swami Chinmayananda. And you cannot get into the ocean without getting wet. Remember, you cannot get into the fire without getting hot. And you cannot achieve anything without some hard work. And that hard work is only for a small time period. Now, what's the main difference between the state PSC examination, AAP, GT, and UPSC examination? State PSC examinations are comparatively easy. AAP, GT, you, you must have some basic concept about the subject. And UPSC examination, they will ask questions that may require some application of the logic beyond the syllabus and beyond the boundaries. That's the scenario in the UPSC examination. Now, we can expect some photograph-based questions also. That's the scenario in nowadays. More than 10%, nearly 10% of the images in many national level examinations, you can expect. Nearly 10% in national level examination. So read the caption in standard textbook. Especially practice and medicine images are mainly from the Hutchison and Davidson. So read the caption in a standard textbook. Now, on the question, which, question, which answer is correct? Which of the following is structure A? That's A, that's more marked in the brain. Pineal gland, hypothalamus, thalamus, pituitary gland, glutamine, pons, and corpus callosum. So, which is that organ? That is marked A in the brain. That is corpus callosum. Here is a boy and a girl. Find out the girl. Only legend can do this. Which one is female pelvis here? It's very easy to identify. Android, gynecoid pelvis or something like that. Which one? First, second, or three? Gynecoid pelvis. So this type of image based question that is nowadays 10 percentage. So while, re while going through the standard textbook, you must read the caption of that particular image and be familiar with that. They will usually copy from the standard textbook only. So in this case, the female is middle one, second. So this question is asked in an interview. Why does baby cry after birth? What may be the reason? Why does baby cry after the birth? Can you answer for this one? These are all some type of questions that we usually found in UPSC that may require some logic. That's because of immediately after the delivery, the lungs start expanding. That results in pain. That's the reason why the child is, the baby is crying. Because of starting the respiration, the baby feels some pain in the chest. The lungs start to inspire and expire. Which one is the organ left one? Which one is this organ? Left. Yes, vermiform appendix. And the right one? That mimicking the brain, brain also. And the last message, preparing for a competitive examina examination is completely different from your regular examination. I think you got some idea about the pattern of questions, the standard of questions, and how to read the textbook and how to read the competitive examination. So preparation should be planned properly. From today onwards, you must have a timetable. Anatomy for how much hours, physiology, this much of hours, repertory, material, everything. A written timetable that should be compulsory. Without a written timetable, it is not possible to cover the entire subjects of the all the I mean the 12 subjects of the BHMS. Preparation should be planned properly with the written timetable and the time. This much of hours per day and each hour which subject you are going to uh, rehearse. And this is a real hard work and involves significant sacrifices. Significant sacrifices on the part of the individual. But remember, this is only for a few, few months. Few weeks or few months. If you are sacrificing something, sacrificing some marriage functions or some other uh, uh, extra uh, extracurricular activities, you are entirely involving only in the preparation of the IA. PGET, you will definitely get a real hard work that involves significant sacrifice, but only for a few months, for a few few weeks only, you have to sacrifice. Then you are safe with the postgraduate seat. So always remember, keep cool during online examination. It's not an easy task 
to have an online examination. So keep cool during the examination. Otherwise, that results in technical problems also. So always remember the famous poem of the Bill Rogers. In order to succeed, you must know what you are doing. You must know what you are doing, like what you are doing with interest and believe in what you are doing. So preparing for this type of competitive examination, that's also an energetic thing. So in order to succeed, you must know what you are doing, and like what you are doing, and believe in what you are doing. And one of the famous words of Dr. Seuss, you have the brain in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. So your attitude determines your altitude. Your attitude determines your attitude, and a small change in attitude makes big difference. So remember the famous words of Dr. Seuss, so summary, plan a written timetable. Make your own notes and highlight the important points. Your own notes for the last moment revision of three days. Fill your gap first. That means your weak area. Suppose if you are weak in the pathology or microbiology, or if you are weak in the organ of medicine, try to study that area first. Concentrate on that area first. Revision is a must, at least three revision before the IAPG 2020. I prepare a tenable like that. At least three revision, that is a must. And at least six hours per day for study. In that six hours, two hours for the revision. So never try to read from A to Z. But if you are reading the Aconite, try to read the three, on three days the Aconite itself. And also clubbing with some other subjects. So never try to cover the topic from A to Z. And the practice mock test that makes you perfect. So this uh, study program that is designed by Father Mother Homeopathic, by Father Muller Homeopathic Medical College, you will get a lot of mock testers. So don't worry. They will make you perfect. We will make you perfect. Don't worry about that. And remember, each class is important. Never miss a class. And every mock test conducted by the Father Muller Homeopathic Medical College is very, very important. Because the questions are prepared in such a way. Each class is important. We will try to give the entire BHMS syllabus of all the dual subjects in a capsule form within few days, within few weeks. I mean, within 15 or 16 days, we will cover the entire BHMS syllabus in a capsule form. So never miss a class. Each class is very important and every mock test is important. And if you have any question, you can ask now. Up to 3.30, we can discuss something. If you have any question and the official website is N-T-A-A-A-P-G-E-T. N-T-A-A-A-P-G-E-T dot N-A-C dot I-N. And if you have any question, you can ask now. Right. Yeah, dear part. Uh, I mean the uh, uh, yeah. If you have any questions, kindly put forward. Sir is available. You can. Uh, you can type in the chat box. You can ask whatever it may be. Probable exam date, uh, but we can guarantee anything. Or the, or even the need that is uh, that's. Uh, that, may, that also postponed. You need to also postponed, but uh, it's very difficult because everything depends upon the COVID. When will we our exam date? Any guess, sir? And probably after. Uh, I mean, the some relief to the COVID, we can expect either in uh, August or September, probably. Stipend in colleges of other state. One question by. Uh, by Dr. Dr. Prem. Uh, that's decided by the concerned state government from uh, 15,000, 25,000, like that. The highest stipend, as I said earlier, uh, Delhi University, and in Kerala, around 30,000, In all the national institute, you will get more than 50,000 per month. Any other questions? Yeah, one question by the uh, answer by the Dr. Manasa. In Andhra Pradesh, first year 35,000, second year 37, and third year 39,000, like that. That's the same thing in Andhra Pradesh. Some reputed colleges are there in Andhra Pradesh also.
then anything else another question by monica is there any strategy for revision 3 days before the examination that means the you have to read the uh, the notes you already prepared for all the 12 subjects you will get time only for that not to revise yeah, all the 12 subjects but a uh, notes that is prepared by yourself that means in an abbreviated form that's contain the easily forgettable information the aforesaid number or the rubric with the single remedies like that so that's only i mean uh, you will get only 3 Uh, three will at least you need three days to revise the notes you prepared for the all the twelve subjects. What is stipend in Madhya Pradesh, uh, sir? That's not uh, doctor. That need to check. I don't exactly the condition of the stipend in MP. Anyway, around thirty to thirty-five thousand you can expect across India in government institutions. Around thirty to thirty-five thousand. Number of questions in material medic other than Allen and Boric. more questions usually we are expecting from alenski not followed by alan boric then even from clark also they asked some question previously the dictionary of practical material medica by j h clark so main questions are from alenski not followed by boric sir there was one question sir it came privately to me yeah. that is what would you okay, recommend yeah. for students who are planning to appear for the next year exam who have almost an year to go yeah that means a planned study you will be get more time you have to go through the textbook first from every new can corner so by by while attending this crash course of organized by this college you will get an idea about how to prepare all the 12 subjects so every new can corner of the textbook you will start from uh, now itself then you will have more than five or six uh, revision type so in this crash course we will give will give you everything in a capsule form all the 12 subjects so you have enough time but never opt for the 2021 uh, you will get uh, from 2020 itself if you are attending this crash course and uh, preparing according to the direction given by the teachers of this crash course mm -hmm. one year is always uh, earlier than late that's more better so in madhya pradesh uh, the stipend is in first year is 41000 second year 42000 and third year 43000 Th thanks for uh, dr minashi verma for giving this information uh, and according to the iapgt they are usually recommending three attempts so try to prepare very well and uh, attend the examination that's a, that's a criteria earlier I don't know whether they are they are revised it or not. Three attempts for AA AA PGT students. And uh, Kirti, one question by Dr. Kirti. So Kirti Reddy, could you please suggest a single best book for medicine, and from which book maximum questions should be asked? So I am recommending the SARP. You have only this time uh, limited time, so SARP is better. S A R P by that two book that we already mentioned. That's a small book. That's enough for the time being. We have only one or one to one and a half months for the examination. Sir, B S R P. That's the name. Is there any coaching institute which give you coaching for a long time, three months or six months? So many institute and organizations across the India nowadays uh, they are giving the long term and short term coaching for homeopathy PG entrance examination. Everything is available in the net. You can search. Many homeopathic organizations and also the private parties institution they are in a, they are conducting long term. and short term courses also like anything else yes. thank you sir and dear candidates i i i think you got an idea about the how to prepare and what are the standards and the parameters of preparation how to read for the competitive examination etc etc so i am so thankful to the management the principal and the teachers and my beloved teachers and friends at the father molar homeopathy medical college for inviting me to share some ideas with you wish you all the best and god bless you thank you sir indeed it is our uh, pleasure that our participants could get a time of interaction also with you in a nutshell you have concluded and you have answered their questions also uh, very hearty thanks to you sir thanks for sparing the time with us sir thank you, thank you sir
Thank you. Ah, yes, father. The is yes, father. For that seven o'clock, we'll uh, live stream. I'm taking the laptop because.